<laughs> Welcome to another DigiMedia Dude short tutorial. I'm Marcelo Lewin, the DigiMedia Dude. In this episode, I'm going to show you what a balanced gimbal looks like and why it's important to capture that steady shot when you're up there 300 feet in the air. So let's get to it. So here I have the DJI Phantom 2 and you can see I have the GoPro Hero 4 attached to it and I have a Zenmuse 3 axis gimbal attached to the drone as well. And as you can see, the drone is completely off right now and the three axis gimbal is not balanced. And the way you can tell it's not balanced is because if it was balanced in its off position, the camera would be like this, but it's not. Now, of course, when I turn on the drone, let's go ahead and turn it on. You can see that it's going to start trying to balance it and it does keep it balanced. You'll see that it actually is completely balanced. It's centered, no problem. So your question is, well, what's the big deal then? If it can do that when you turn it on, why do you care if it's balanced when it's off or not? Well, the reason you care is because you'll have the motors. There's three motors on your three axis gimbal and your motors will work overtime just to try to keep it balanced because in its off position, it's not properly balanced. So it needs to work extra hard just to keep it in this straight position on top of when the drone is actually moving. So let's go ahead and turn off the drone. And there you see that it goes completely off. So how do we balance it, Marcelo? That's your question, right? I'm sure that's your question. Well, I have a perfect answer for you. Here we have a little dime. So you can see the dime right there. And I'm gonna place that dime right here by the gimbal. I'm using some double-sided tape 3M, it's kind of heavy duty. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue it on, or actually not glue it, just with the double-sided tape so you can easily take it off. So I'm gonna press on it. And then you'll see that after a while, when I let go, now it's balanced. So there you go. Now your three axis gimbal is actually balanced in the off position. So if we move it around, it'll continue strain straight which is great. That means that the motors won't be overworking just to try to keep it balanced. Now, if we go ahead and turn the drone on, there it goes. It's going to do its little thing to keep it straight. Doesn't have to do really much, right? In this case, it's already pretty much balanced in the off position. So I can control it. There you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and it should stay pretty much in that position. Maybe it'll move a little bit, but it should stay pretty much in that position. There you go. So there you go. It didn't tilt to the right or to the left. Now we have a three axis gimbal that is balanced to the GoPro Hero 4 camera. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. Also subscribe to my channel, DigiMedia Dude. And if you have any comments, questions, or opinions, please make sure you comment below. I really want to hear from you. So until the next episode, I am the DigiMedia Dude. Cheers, everybody.